Let's talk about schemas. That might sound boring. But something that's super important for doing good SEO. So what is a schema? A schema is a structured piece of data that we hand over to a search engine, and then it then gives a better search result. So for instance, you're searching on Google for a question and it gives you the answer right away. Or you're asking for a recipe and it gives you the cook time and the ingredients list that you're gonna need. That is all rich text that Google is pulling from schemas. To me, that's beautiful. So let's look at an FAQ, for example. You have a question and answer text on the web page. Google tries its best to understand the question and the answer, but if we can specifically tell it, this text is a question and this text is an answer, we're gonna be much better off in the SEO game. So that's what we're gonna hop in and talk about today, our FAQ schemas and how to set them up on Bricks. So let's just do that. Let's go hop over to Bricks. All right, we're over in Bricks and I want to build a section that's gonna house all of my FAQs. So when a user scrolls down, they're gonna see all my FAQs for the web page. So let's add a section. Uh, let's add one here. And I'm gonna add a heading to this section. I'm just gonna call it FAQs. Now I want all of my questions to be in a grid. So let's go ahead and add another div or a block in my instance. That'll be 100%. And let's make this a grid. So I use automatic CSS. So I'm gonna add a real quick class of grid three. So create a grid and let's give it a gap. So now I have my grid structure set up really quickly. And I'm gonna rename this block to be question grid, just so I know what's going on here. I wanna make sure I'm setting this up to be an FAQ schema, but how do I do that? Well, we need three pieces of information. We need an FAQ page schema, a question and an answer. So let's tackle the first one, the FAQ page schema, and that is gonna come into the form of a wrapper or a container that holds all of our questions. And so we have a couple options here to be our FAQ page schema. We could use the question grid itself because it's gonna hold everything, or we could use the section to be the FAQ page schema. Doesn't really matter because either one's gonna hold all of our questions. So I'm just gonna do the section to make it easy. I'm gonna rename this FAQ page schema, okay? And now we have to add some attributes to this. So we're basically gonna tell search engines that they're about to read some information. They're about to read some FAQs. And how we do this is we go to style while we have our FAQ page schema selected. And we're gonna add an attribute of item scope. What item scope basically means is we are declaring a new item for a search engine. Now the search engine is gonna go, what, what is it? So you declared an item, but what is it? So we need to do a new attribute of item type. And uh, I'm gonna put this up on the screen. The item type for the schema is going to get a value of schema.org forward slash FAQ page. I'm also gonna have in the description below the link to the Google Doc with all this information. So you guys can read that as well. Now we've added our attributes for our schema, but we need to set up our question. And what our question is gonna look like is a, another div. So I'm gonna go to my question grid and I'm gonna add a div. And I'm gonna call this question container. Now my question container needs to hold two items. The text for the question itself. So I'm gonna add a heading. And it also needs to have a div for the third piece, the answer. So I'm gonna add another div. And let's just do some renaming. I'm gonna rename my question into question. And I'm gonna rename my div down here into answer container. And within my answer container, we need the actual text for the answer. So let's add, let's add some rich text. Cause maybe I wanna add a link in the future or something. So we'll do rich text. Okay, and we'll call this, we'll rename it answer. So we have our three things set up, our page schema, our question and our answer okay but now we need to declare those other items we need to tell it what it, tell the search engine what it's going to read so let's go to our question container and we'll go to style add attribute and we will add an item scope so a new item and the search engine is going to say well what is it so we're going to put in item type we're going to tell it what type it is and this is going to be schema.org forward slash question and then we also need to add one more attribute, which is gonna be item prop. 
And now item prop is a way of relating pieces of information with its parent element. So an example, we want to declare that this is a piece of information for the schema. So we're gonna add an item prop of main, uppercase E, entity. So this is a main entity of the schema, okay? That's it for the question container. So let's move on to the question. And this only has one attribute. This is gonna be item prop. And this item prop is gonna be a value of name. So this is the name of the question. Okay, so those two are done. Let's move on to our answer. So let's go to our answer container. This is a new item. This is an answer. So this is gonna be item scope. So declaring something new. And then we're gonna say what type it is. So item type. And this is gonna be schema.org forward slash answer. And then we need to add one more of item prop. And this is gonna be accepted answer with the lower uh, uppercase A. So this is the accepted answer of our question, okay? So answer container's done. Let's move on to our answer. This one's gonna get just an item prop of text. So here is our text of our accepted answer. So basically all we're doing with a schema is just giving things attributes so that search engines have better understanding of the content of our web page. So that's what we did. We just told it context. Now, I want to make sure before I continue, I wanna make sure I'm following some good practices and I'm gonna have a list of questions. So I wanna make sure that this is in a ULLI list. So I'm gonna create my question grid to be a unordered list. And I want my question to be an LI. And it's always best to follow best practices when you're building these out. So uh, this is adding this little points at the beginning of my LI and I wanna get rid of that. So on my grid, I'm gonna give this a class of list none. That's one of the beauties of ACSS. Everything's just fast. So we have our un unordered list set up, which is just good semantics. And I'm gonna add a couple more of these questions to my container. Don't know why that's not showing up, but uh, we'll call this question one. We'll call this one question two. And we'll call this one question three. Now I did not give, I wanna go back. I did not give this heading any attributes because this is something that I'm not calling out for, for search engines. I only wanted those three pieces of information called out, which was the schema, the question, and the answer. Everything else is irrelevant to the schema. So I'm not worrying about anything else, just those items. I just wanted to make sure that was clear. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save this, and I wanna test it. I wanna make sure that I've set the schema up correctly. So we're gonna save it. We're gonna go on the front end, and everything's good here. And then we're gonna go to Google and type in uh, rich results test. And the very first item, let's click on that. We're gonna put in our URL to test it. So let's put that in. And this is gonna take a second. Oh, this is gonna take a second, but uh, as soon as it's loaded, I will be right back. Okay, so I got the results back. And what it's telling me is this URL is not available to Google. That's because it's, non, it's a non-index page, so I'm not gonna worry about that. What we wanna look at is the detected structured data area. And I have a check mark next to an FAQ. So I'm gonna click on this. And I'll see unnamed items under detected items down here. That's perfect, that's what we want. So let's click on this again. And we're gonna see that we have a schema set up. We're gonna start seeing everything. So we have our type, our FAQ page, and then it tells us, well, what is this? This is a type of question, and here's the first question. And then here's the answer to that question. Oh, and here's question two, and here's the answer to that question. So it lays out everything in a way that Google, that Bing, that search engine bots can understand. That's basically what we just did. So everything checked out, I got green lights from this test, and I want to show you one more method of doing this FAQ schema, and that's gonna be the accordion. So I'm gonna hop back, hop back into Bricks and set that up. All right, I'm back in Bricks. I'm gonna go ahead and close down our first section, and I wanna add another section for an accordion that's gonna have all of our FAQs. So I'm gonna add another section, and inside this section, I'm gonna add an accordion, 
And we, if you're using bricks, accordions, make sure that you use the nestable because if you don't use it, you can't set attributes. So we want to use the nestable. So I'm going to add a nestable at, there we go, accordion. And I'm just going to go ahead and condense this down to one item just to make it easy for myself. So there we go, we're set. And now we have, remember, we have those three items that we need to figure out. We have our, our schema itself, the question and the answer. And our schema can be a wrapper that holds everything. So I could decide to choose the section as the schema or the accordion since it holds everything. So just for this instance, we're gonna do the accordion, accordion itself. So let's go to the accordion, let's go to style and add some attributes. We're gonna declare a new item with item scope and we're gonna do item type of FAQ page. And now let's do our question and answer. So remember our question held everything, held all the answer, all the information. So we can make our question the item itself. So let's do that. Let's make that the question. So our item, while we're clicked on it, let's add an attribute of item scope. So declaring a new item, an item type. And this is gonna be item type of question. So schema.org forward slash question. And then we're gonna add an another attribute of item prop, the value of main entity. Perfect, so we've got our question set up, but now we need to find the actual text for the question, which is gonna be the heading itself. So we're gonna click on the heading, and we're gonna click on add attribute, and we're gonna we're gonna put in item, item prop of name. Okay, that's done. Now we need our answer, which is gonna be our answer container. So accordions will have a content wrapper. So we have our answer here, but this can be our answer container. So let's click on the content and let's make this the answer. So add attribute of item scope, a new item, an item type. Let's give this the schema.org forward slash answer. And this is gonna be an item prop of accepted answer. And then let's go to our rich text and let's add an attribute of item prop text. Okay, that's it. We've set up our schema to be appropriate. And I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this. Let's call this question one. We'll call this accordion question one. So I know I can see the differences when I run this test again. And let's duplicate. I don't know what it is. We'll just do two. I don't know why it's not showing, but we'll call this accordion question two. And let's save this out and we'll reload. Okay, we have our accordion down here. So let's run this test one more time and make sure that it's working within our rich test result. Uh, now, I, I do wanna say I did two FAQs on one page. You can't do that. You can't do two FAQ schemas on one page. It won't like it. And so I am gonna get an error. You're gonna see that in just a second, um, but that's okay. Just, just for this, I wanna show you this setup of it. So. Here we go, I get a failed, so I have a failed icon. And if I go in here, if I click, I see critical issue, and if I click on this, it says duplicate FAQ pages. So it doesn't like it, it only wants one schema for the page, for an FAQ page. So that's okay, we're gonna ignore it for now. But we can see our original setup, our question one, question two, and let's see, the only problem I'm getting is duplicate. So I have my accordion question one, according question two. So it looks like it's set up perfectly. If you didn't, it would tell you like, oh, hey, we're missing a type uh, or we're missing a name field, we're missing a text field. It would tell you if it's if an item is missing something. And right now it's not telling me that, it's just telling me I have a duplicate. So it looks like we've set this up correctly. See, that wasn't as difficult, right? That was pretty easy once you start to understand it. And all the documentation on schema.org or even typing in the schema on Google, they'll give you the information of how to structure it and what attributes to add to it. So it's really easy to set up. I hope you guys have learned something from this video. I hope you guys go out and implement this and see some results with your clients. If this has at all helped you, please give it a like. If you feel so compelled, subscribe. But I'm gonna be making some more videos about setting up things in bricks, maybe about styling, but I have more ideas to come, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys for joining me on this video, and I will see you in the next one.